so I just felt like sharing my most recent experience. I moved into a new place last September. I was just renting a room from the homeowner who was also living there. During our get to know you period, he mentioned that his mum had recently passed away. From the way he talked about her and the vibe I kind of got from him, the relationship seemed like it had kind of been a Norman Bates type thing. He was odd, and though he talked about her a lot, there wasn't a single picture of her in the house. Things there started small, but got weird fast. First, I felt like I was never, ever alone. Like, ever. I'd be in my room alone, but feel like every move I made was being criticised. Not just watched, but judged. Then started the anxiety. I was constantly anxious, like stomach sick anxious. There was nothing out of the ordinary going on in my life, so I couldn't figure out what was going on. When I left the house, I was fine. As soon as I got home, it would hit. It got to the point that I tried being away from home as much as possible. Then the noises started. One night, I remember as the worst, I woke up to banging, like loud, loud banging. It sounded like it was coming from my closet. I finally got up the nerve to investigate. But before I could even get out of bed, it happened again. A mixture of scratching on wood and bangs. There was nothing ever in that closet to explain it. Nothing. And nobody could ever convince me that I was dreaming or that it came from somewhere else. Around Halloween, my roommate had a bowl of Hershey kisses by the door for the kids. Every day, when I got home from work, I'd sneak a few and eat them. One night, I got up to go to the bathroom, and right on the floor, in the middle of the doorway, was a single upright Hershey kiss. It was just odd, because I always took two. I had that day, and the wrappers from them were still on my desk. I hadn't taken another, and the placement was odd, so I finally made a pendulum to see if I could contact the spirit. I am not a fan of pendulums, I feel spirits constantly lie through them, but if you believe in what it says, it said that yes, it was my roommate's dead mother, that yes, she strongly disliked me and wanted me gone. And no, she wouldn't ever leave me alone. I moved one month later. Hello everyone, Sinister Shaf here. This story was Roommate's Dead Mum Hated Me by Brittery C. Thank you for letting me narrate your story. If you enjoyed this video, then please remember to like and subscribe if you have not done so already. Also, if you can, share this video with your friends. You can now also follow me on Facebook and Twitter. Links are in the description box below. Thank you for watching and... As always, stay sinister.